Gordon Robertson, you've produced this remarkable second documentary. The first one was called In Our Hands. Uh, we've actually done five. This is the fifth in the series. Uh, it's called To Life, and it's featuring all the wonderful humanitarian work Israelis are doing around the world. How is it that the Israeli government hasn't done this PR so far, and that it's come to having an independent broadcaster step in and, and, and take this investment? Well, I'm, I'm not sure government's all that good at doing PR, uh, and I'm glad to step in and be uh, a voice. And, and I actually think it's important uh, that Christians come alongside Israel and do this for Israelis, that it gives an objective view. If it were to come out of the Israeli government, it would be viewed as propaganda. But here's a Christian organization saying, hey, we'll pay attention to what they're doing, the wonderful innovations that are coming out of Israel, the real history of the Six-Day War, the accurate history, and now with this one, to life, all the wonderful humanitarian aid. Uh, when a third party comes in, not being paid by the government, it just gives it an authenticity you can't get any other way. You have here the master of ceremonies has been uh, Chris Mitchell, arguably the best uh, Israel-based reporter of anywhere. 700 Club people get to see the only uh, American Israel pr perspective news reportage. How is it the mainstream Associated Press, Reuters, and the international uh, broadcasters don't seem to get what Chris Mitchell can see so plainly? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with if you want access within the Palestinian Authority, then essentially you have to play it from their point of view. So if you want to have those interviews in Ramallah, they monitor what you say, uh, they, they will hold it against you if you report things accurately from an Israeli point of view. So that's, I think, the main reason you see it. And it's nothing new in covering the Middle East. Uh, we saw it with Saddam Hussein uh, before he was overthrown in Iraq, that if you wanted to get an interview with him, there were certain requirements. So we like our independent voice. We like that we're Christian. And we just want to report accurately on what's happening in Israel. Can people who don't happen to catch the 700 Club, can they see your uh, Israel news stories somehow on your website? Uh, you can get it on, on your iPhone. You can get it on any Samsung, any phone, anywhere in the world, any tablet. We have an app called the CBN News app. All you had to do is put that into the store. You download it for free. We'll send you notifications. It'll have all our Israeli coverage, all our U.S. coverage, all our world coverage right at your fingertips. And the news stories are not religiously based, re religiously biased in any way. Well, we do report on Christian persecution, and we view that as one of our specialties. We want to let the world know what's happening, particularly in the Middle East, to the Christian minority, that a genocide is currently happening. Uh, it's interesting that there aren't many voices in the Christian world reporting on that. I actually think there are more voices in the Jewish world saying there's a serious problem here, we have to do something about it. Um, but that's the only thing you're going to see. We do report on Christian movements and we report on Christian events. But when it comes to world affairs, it's, it's from an objective point of view. We have very seasoned reporters who know how to do journalism.